Hello folks. Normally I don't make a video when I'm getting ready to go on a trip. I usually just wait till the trip started and then I start the camera, right? But this, this trip is a little bit different because uh, on my last trip, which was about a year and a half ago, I took everything out of the trailer. I had just accumulated way too much stuff. And so I took everything out of the trailer and I put it in the garage with the idea that over the winter, I would go through all the items in the garage and put back into the trailer all the things that I actually need. And, and actually use because over time, you know, you come to know what you really need, what's important to you. So um, it's time for me to get ready for my next trip. And so I'm in that process of like bringing, you know, over the things that I actually are gonna use. I get asked all the time what I use for different things. Like, you know, what do you use for power? What cameras do you use? And so I thought, well, why don't I just make a video, um, you know, of the important things that I'm bringing over. That way, if anybody needs, you know, to, to uh, you know, see what I'm using, maybe get something, get one of those, whatever it is for themselves, then they'll know what model and all that kind of stuff. Probably gonna make a couple of videos, this one, maybe a couple more, cause there's just a handful of things that are, are, are important enough uh, for me to talk about or speak about. Um, so anyway, the, the, first, uh, the first thing I'm bringing over is uh, this thing right here. This is a power box, it's made by EchoFlow. And what it does is it allows me to, you can see the little plugs there on the side. It allows me to um, plug in appliances. Whenever I wanna uh, use my laptop, I can plug it into there. Uh, that TV behind me, um, I plug into there. Uh, if I want, even if I um, wanna run the heat, let's say in the trailer, even though the heat uses propane, you still have to have power to run the um, the fan part. So I can plug my trailer into that actually and power it for a little while. This is super important. This one is um, 720 watt hours. They make smaller ones, they make larger ones. 720 is the smallest I would ever get. I actually have two of these and um, the other one's a little bit smaller. This one's the bigger of the two. I might get a third one, in which case I would get one that was a thousand watt hours or higher. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put in the description a couple of links to uh, a couple of models of these that I would like to get or that you might like to get. And um, so if there's one in there that you want, you'll have the link for it and you'll know the brand, the model number and everything. And be assured that I've looked very closely at it before I put the link in there. So I think you'll be very happy with it. I've just started this thing with Amazon. So if you do buy it, buy one of those, um, you know, using the link, then I get a couple of dollars. It's not a lot, but it helps, right? So anyway, that's gonna be in the description. This is also great um, for whenever the power goes out at home. There's been a couple of times this past winter, our power went out for like three or four hours. And um, I was able to, you know, keep functioning. I could plug a lamp in there. I could plug in my laptop and it'll be just like, you know, the power hadn't gone out. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can charge this. Um, you can charge it through solar and I do have some solar panels. I'm not gonna take the time to, to show you that, but anyway, you just plug the solar panels into that. Uh, you can charge it just through an electrical outlet. So if you went over to a friend's house or somewhere if you didn't have power you could just charge it up this one right here unlike a lot of brands this will charge up to 80 percent in one hour and within two hours it'll be completely charged some of the cheaper ones the jackeries and some of the other ones take like eight hours to charge you can also charge it with a cigarette lighter in your vehicle and that's the way i usually charge this one so when i'm on route from point a to point b um, I just plug in the cigarette lighter and this charges, you know, because I'm usually driving many hours when I'm traveling cross country. So I charge these up with a cigarette lighter. To give you an idea of capacity, as I said, this one's 720 watt hours. I have electric mattress pad that I use uh, on my double bed, queen size bed. So if I put, if this is fully charged and I put it on low, overnight, this will run out. By the next morning, this is like at 1% or 0% by the next morning. So if that gives you some idea of how much power 720 watt hours will give you. It gets really cold sometimes when you're out in the desert, you know, it'll get down in the like 40s or something. So it's pretty chilly and you can't really be running a generator all night long because the generator, if it's left outside, will get stolen. So, um, so it's good to be able to have that. I mean, this, this thing is so useful. I just cannot get over 
how useful this thing is uh, to me. So I've done a lot of research. I'm very happy with this brand. Um, it, even, it even has an app. You can control it over the app over your phone and stuff. So that's the Echo Flow, and that's called a solar generator. Okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you about now. I've um, been long-winded here, so um, I'm probably gonna make some more of these videos as I come across things that I feel like are important. Thanks for joining me. That's it for now, which is good because the battery's about to die on this camera. So.